Welcome back. We're gonna try it again. Uh, and Ryan's not going to uh, drop down. Drop down right into the hands of a floor master. Very misleading to put the hole right above the little guy. Yeah, but you know, lesson learned. Yeah. Now you can kill him. His ah. coloring is really weird. Like, I guess it's part of the cell shading engine, but it's like the purple and it's like really vibrant mm -hmm. purple. Definitely feels like it belongs in a different game. You there you go. I don't think you can go up there yet. Uh, walk away from it so you can see the ceiling. Yeah, it's. I think it's blocked yeah, off. But you can do that. Uh, no, no, not like it's blocked by the. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah. Well then. Never mind. Let's see. I was gonna say you could use the other spring to go back up there, but I guess I was completely wrong and should not be trusted. Wow. Oh, wrong R again. Every time. How how do you manage to do that? Because right R on Xbox is a trigger, and then the Z is the not trigger. It's the bumper. Just keep your hand away from ZR. Away from ZR. Yeah, but you're collecting joy pens. It's, I don't even know how many you have. I don't either. How many do you have? Uh, this one's black. Why did you pause it? Because I thought something was going to kill me. What is in here? Right? It's not there. It is huh? in the spoils bag. 21. Cool. We have exactly as many as we need for the thing that we need to do later. For the thing. So, you can't get that block since Macar's not with you. Nope. Lock. Come on, lock. Lock. Oh, you have to see the arrow to be able to lock on. The range is so small. Well, it's also like you're holding it down and then you immediately like release it and hit it again. It's not gonna help. Check. You can't break it because Macar's not with you. It's made so that you have to go through this whole thing by yourself and then come back. And then go back through it again. Well, it's only like partially through. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why you're killing all this grass if you're already full and everything. Yeah, because I do it in every game. Okay. What if you run out of magic? You yeah. have to leave and then come back. There's a button on the top left. Yeah, I see that. Alright. Hey, hit the right button. There you go. Uh -huh. Bam. Got it. I don't know why the button has a uh, harp on it, which is Medley's well, instrument of choice. There is a whiz robe about to fireball you. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's going to teleport away in like two seconds. Just, uh, yeah, and then boomerang. Remember, if you hit it while it's in the air, it's gonna come back. You just sort him. Oh, he's stunned. There you go. There we go. That was not the most efficient way to do it, but we did it. Doesn't need to be efficient. Alright. So, you can go left. Yeah. Or you can go right. Or you can go cut grass, or, or you I can, can fall. I'm gonna just fall straight down. You cannot go up there. It makes you go back to the beginning. Oh my because gosh. Because you screwed up. And it's your fault. Let's see. Wait, what is this? Thing? It's a skull. No, that's all. <laughs> Continue to carry it around. Uh, stop trying to go up it. I'm not trying. No, you have to go, go right. No, no. Is this? There's not really anything down here. Uh, and grass. Grass and those little army things. And skulls and they, I don't even know what they're called, but they suck magic. Oh, let's see. I'll go up there, land on the thing. Oh, I can just go straight through though. Yeah, you can keep flying. Instead of uh. cutting grass and 
killing time. You gotta cr cut grass. I mean, what if the grass gets too long and the neighbors will complain to the <laughs> city council? Actually, you know that street that takes you uh, out of our neighborhood? The one that you can go right and then left? That one? The, yeah, the yeah. one that they've been they've been doing this like they redid the sidewalks. They still need to do. It looks like they need to do the street. But um, okay. I was noticing today when they were like when I was driving home, uh, they had all this you know equipment making new sidewalks and everything, and those mm -hmm. sidewalks look nice and pristine. And then the grass is just like there was one yard that I saw where the grass is like a foot and a half high, mm -hmm. like it was just bad just awful I was like how do you like unless nobody has been living there for like a year how do you let it get that long there are people that just don't care isn't that like a city ordinance or I guess yeah, it's a homeowners association well, thing no it's a city ordinance you do but people have to complain mm. and then you get fined but but you nobody can, really cares yeah I mean if, if you just I don't know if I it were me I mean I'm sure um like in my parents' neighborhood, the homeowners association there is pretty strict. So I would, I would bet that um, you should, you can hit those skulls for magic. Oh, thank you. The homeowners association there is strict in the sense that I bet that they. Uh, you just need to go, like just go over there. You just, you're just not gonna reach. So you can, because he's not going to teleport away from that area. Um, the homeowner association would complain if somebody's grass in my parents' neighborhood ended up getting too long, you know. But I don't. I mean, as much as I don't really care, as long as somebody else's grass looks, um, I also, and, I, and I'm sure it would kind of bug me to see it if it was like a really nice neighborhood. I also don't really like homeowner associations in general, because um, their ideas of what looks good and what doesn't are kind of extremely personally opinionated. Yeah. So that's yeah. just dumb. Like, there's there's rules on like what you can and can't do in your backyard, which seems a little dumb to me because they're like, yeah, I don't exactly own the land, but I do own the house, and I do pay rent, and you know, like, you know should be able to do whatever I want on my own property kind of thing. Right. Yay! Oh, I see. We're back in here. And I came in that way. That's where he's at. I went that way, so now we're going to go down. Yep. So there's a key room, but you don't have a key. There's an open door. Gotcha. You really like wait between those boomerang throws. Well, I always think that he's just gonna stay with the boomerang. I forget that I have to get it twice. The what? <laughs> you need to figure out which one of these holes is the right hole. If you put your boots on, you'll break it. I see. It's just trial and error. It's this one. I don't know if I'm supposed to fall through or not. Nope. Is that the idea? But I also think it's, yeah, you gotta move the blocks. are like super crazy moving because they don't really do Girl. anything. They're just kind of doing this. I mean, you have to move the bouncy block. Oh, I see. Uh, you can actually move it. Turn around. To that. Oh, uh, there it is. And I think the block is actually marked on the floor. Maybe. Um... Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know why they're, like, going super crazy, because those spikes don't, like, 
it's not like having them move makes them more dangerous. Right. I think it, can I even yeah. yeah you could which you would do anyway if they were just regular spikes, you right. know? Like any other spikes in the Zelda game do that. But this specific room, in this specific game, they're going to ham. That is pretty weird. Speaking of ham, I finished That's season weird. six of Parks and Rec today. Okay. And it was funny how John Ham John Hamm makes a cameo at, in the last scene. I don't know if you remember it. I don't think I do. It's, she uh it's like a flash forward three years in the future. Uh -huh. And she's running the office or whatever. And she like Oh, there's like something else. I think if you break all of the little stones don't do it in the middle or I was because you'll have to move the block every single time. Yeah, every time you do it, new enemies pop up. Um, you should kill them. Yeah, because if you kill all the enemies, that's what makes the chest show up. So she's running the office. Leslie's running the office. And John Hamm comes in and is like, Sorry, Leslie, I lost those reports. And she's like, I can't remember what his name is, but she's like, Damn it. You're, like, the worst employee I've ever worked with. Even worse than, like, Larry or something. Something Larry, like, Gary, Jerry. Yeah, it's, like, something new. It was a new name mm -hmm. for for Jerry. Um, and then he's just like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then she's like, pack up your stuff, you're fired. Huh? I was like, that was, that was pretty funny. Just, just kill him. Yeah. I didn't know there was an action thing for well, Floor Masters. Isn't that something neat? Neato. Yeah, it takes a little bit of tedious work to get all of these. Wait, so which one was John Hamm? He's the main character from Mad Men. Oh, that's right. He's completely incompetent. Who's it this time? No one, apparently. No one. I guess that was the right one. Apparently. Um, but yeah, he just like shows up for those that, that one scene. Mm -hmm. Um and I yep. guess there's only one more season left for me to watch. Yeah, and the last one is probably the best conclusion ever. Oh crap. The last uh, the last like part of the so they have like the ending of the last of the sixth Excuse me, sixth season, mm. and it was like a nice little, like, cool finale. And then they also had like that end scene, which is kind of like the Harry Potter end scene, mm -hmm. which I'm pretty sure they did on purpose. Oh, they absolutely because did. Leslie was a huge fan of Harry Potter. Huge Harry Potter fan. Where are you going? Forgot. You can't go back up there. <laughs> Paying attention. Um, but yeah, they definitely did that as like an homage to Harry Potter. Uh, and they have like the kids and everything uh, but then I was just completely I, I for a fact Ben is me yeah like there's like super nerdy and everything and one of the one of my favorite parts of it was uh, they were doing the little Sebastian song at the end mm -hmm. and everybody's like waving candles and like having a great time and there's like a pan shot of like all the people there in the crowd mm -hmm. um, like all the like main people and they sh like within that shot is Ben and he's just staring at the camera just like no like he still doesn't understand yeah. the whole little Sebastian phenomenon Even though I absolutely love the little Sebastian stuff it's, I guess it's, it's almost heartbreaking when when they play that sometimes. Yeah. Maybe All right. Get you. Well, next time on replay, we're gonna fight this crazy Wizro. Oh gosh. He's got a headdress. He's got a headdress. He's a bird. Bye. Bye.